Hi, I'm Scott Campbell. Welcome to my window painting tutorials. Lesson 73, Packing Up the Paint. Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, this isn't a, a full-fledged tutorial and uh, per se. It's just me packing up my paint. <laughs> and I'm going to kind of narrate it too a little, but yeah, a lot of people have been asking. Well, not a lot of people. I've had a few uh, subscribers ask me to do a video of me packing up my paint or showing how I set up and stuff, but this isn't the setup. This is just the packing up. And uh, I probably should have wore a GoPro on my helmet, but then that kind of distorts the whole, you know, does the whole fisheye thing. So I'm holding the camera on one hand and... Uh, trying to put everything away in my other so it probably would go a little faster but um, well anyway let's just let's just take a look and I'll narrate it as we go along so let me get it started here okay here we go anyway this is my stuff it's just all sprawled out everywhere I'm very unorganized I mean I've got my my two inch and one inch foam brushes there and I've got my uh, my rollers and then I've got all my different trays, and this is my heater, and uh, that pole there on the right is my... So, well, anyway, <laughs> this is kind of unorganized. What I do is I, I do all the color before I pack up. I make sure all the colors, the highlights, and the shadows. So right before I'm ready to go do the black, that's when I start packing up. So first thing I do is grab all the two-inch foam brushes, the one-inch foam brushes, and I throw them in a big bucket of water, and I just keep them in there. Sometimes I leave them in there for, in the in the winter months, I might leave them in there for as long as a week, because uh, it's cold and they don't get fermented. In the summer, you can't do that because it will get rotten. So and here I am, just grabbing things and pushing things back together, and because like I said, when I work, I just I put it, I put things everywhere. So right now I'm putting the trays in with the rollers and I I leave them in there too sometimes I leave them in there for a couple months in the winter I don't wash them out every time it takes a lot of water and uh, I use the same colors over and over the red white and green you know and stuff so I just leave them in there and then I spray them you know even in the winter I will spray them a little because if I don't work you know like right now I am working every day but it's just a habit like I might not work for the weekend or two or three days I spritz them <coughs> So now I'm going to take the lid here and put it on top and I just close them up and that paint's good to go. Next time I get to another location, I have my paint. So, and uh, it's not a lot of editing or fancy uh, stuff in this video. It's just me holding the camera and pointing it. So I hope it's helpful. <laughs> And then here's some more colors I'm spritzing. That's a peppermint blend there. And I use that gray a lot for trees and stuff, and tree stumps in the winter. So I gotta move all these trays and all this stuff off of this other lid. Because like I said, I just put stuff everywhere. <laughs> so I'm putting this one down too. This video is about 12 or 13 minutes long, so I just I did it all in real time. That's some blue I bought the other day because I, I wasn't near my regular paint stores, so I didn't buy as much. I just bought a little bit of blue because I had run out. There's another two inch foam I found and I'm throwing that back in the in the water bucket too. Close it up. Move my toolbox, move this, move that. I'm getting ready to load stuff up. And uh and then here's another, uh, now I'm going to start putting some of the paint away. I put the paint, the gallons, inside of, uh, uh, like, milk crates. I put, like, three, three gallons in one milk crate, and then I put a couple quarts around it. So I'm just climbing in here. It's kind of, it's kind of cumbersome, because I'm trying to, <laughs> I'm trying to put stuff away, and then at the same time, like I said, I got the camera in my right hand. So... But I just put the, the gallons here, stack them up, move them around, you know, so they don't spill. That's the main idea of the milk crate. And, you know, I don't suggest that you follow what I do necessarily because I'm not the most organized. So, I mean, whatever system works for you, if you want to use milk crates or if you want to just, 
build something, build a box so they fit perfectly in there. It's all good. But people have been requesting, so I've been having a request for this for the last seven months. And uh, and I just I just move stuff around. Like here, I'm gonna put some put yellow back in here and kind of throw everything together. My tarps are there too. I don't know if you can see them. I've got to get a better system because right now I just throw my tarps on top of the paint, and then I got to move the tarps, then move this and move that. But uh, it has evolved. In the beginning, when I first started using this car, it was just different every time. I just kind of threw everything in there. So it'll evolve, and after a while, everything will be even more organized. But for now, it's not totally perfect. But I do try to follow the same thing each time. And these are all my buckets. I have one bucket for water, for washing. I have another bucket for uh, the, the dirty brushes. And then another bucket, sometimes I just throw in uh, things in that, miscellaneous stuff. So here I'm putting the lid on the third box. And I usually put the one, I usually, uh, I stack two of them together. The two that, uh, the bottom one has all the, the small containers with paint. That one's heavier. And I put this lighter one on top. That has the other rollers in it. So first I take these two and I put them back in the back of the element and uh, and then what I do next is I grab the, these are my window washing things you know and I take I take that oh yeah I've got to also take the, uh, the, uh, the washer off of the pole because that, yeah that's usually what I do is I take the washer off the pole and uh, because I had to wash these windows. And I wash windows a lot now. I threw that in there. Then I put the, this is where I have my razor, and that's where I catch all the paint. Then I take this, that one, which has my uh, roller handles, and on top of that I put the, uh, my two inch foam brushes, and on top of that I put the rollers, and then I just, I pick up the whole thing, and then I set that on top of those two boxes. And uh, this, this is good storage space here. And then I push it all the way back. And then you can see the seats, I have them covered with plastic. Because I, you know, I don't want to get paint everywhere if I can avoid it. And then that box there, that one has the white in it. Because when I arrive at a location, I like to take that one out first and get the white going so it can be drying while I take the other stuff out. And then this is my black. I'm just kind of throwing this and that here and there. There's some paper I use sometimes to catch drips and stuff, but I'm not even using it right now. I don't even know what it's out for. So, so I just start collecting up all the other stuff too. And then uh, I put my toolbox there. And I, I, I've got to make sure the black stays flat because the black has a lot of water in it. And I keep those brushes in the water all the time. I've had other videos that I talked about that. So here I am just pushing stuff around, picking up stuff. That's my the barbecue lighter thing that I use for the heater. And it takes me about 15 minutes to pack up. Well, actually not that long because this video is only 12, so... And then part of it is I'm painting the window. So takes me about 10 minutes, I guess. 10 minutes or even a little less to pack up, which isn't too bad. Turning off my heater, which is great. It comes in handy when it's cold. So now I'm putting my black brushes away. I just, these are all my U-Truck brushes. Oh, actually I'm doing the black now, because I, that's what I was saying. Yeah, I put everything away. And now I'm gonna go ahead and do the black. I go ahead and do all the black, and uh, this is what's done. I've been doing these guys for, I said seven years, but it's actually, I think I've been going there like 12 years. So I've painted this probably 50 times. And, uh, <laughs> hey everybody. Anyway, uh, so now I'm taking the black, take the brushes out, throw them in the black water, I haven't washed these for six weeks. 
that's just how I roll. And the brushes last pretty long, you know. I, I they're just water-based brushes, so I haven't had any problems with them. Some of them, I've, these brushes last six months or longer. These Utrecht brushes, like here, I'm just piling everything in. You know, I don't always put everything where it's supposed to go. And then I just got to make sure this is flat, like I said before. And I so I put it. Uh, I kind of just set it on the top of the box. And now I'm getting all my stuff aligned. I had to wait for the heater to cool off before I face it toward the seat. And that's it. You know, I just... Oh, I got a few more items. It's my folding chair. I didn't use a ladder there. I just used uh, my folding chair. And that I just put in, you know, just throw it on top of everything. It's, uh, it's easy. There's my juice jar, because today I juiced all day. I didn't eat today, just been drinking green juice. Some days I like to do that, because I'm going out to dinner tonight with Audrey. We're going on a date to Iron Horse, her favorite Mexican food place. So I'm really excited about that. <laughs> the video went off for a second there. I was like, what happened? Anyway, okay, now I'm packing up the... Uh, Packing up the table, which is the final thing. Pulling my pants up. <laughs> Look how messy I am. Look at my shirt. It's like crazy. So that's the last of it. I got everything in. Oh, and the pole. Of course, the pole. Sometimes I've left my ladders before, too, which is irritating. I gotta go back and get them. So. Don't ask me what the Hawaiian means on the back. This used to be Audrey's car. Audrey's Hawaiian. You can tell me what it means. Anyway, that's about it. And uh, thanks for watching. And I uh, really appreciate all the comments and the new subscribers. And uh, I will see you next time. Oh, got to take him a bill. <laughs> see you next time. <laughs>